Hi everybody out there, Wasabi Land. This is Jennifer with Oregon Coast Wasabi. Welcome to our video series, Wasabi 101, filmed at our real life Wasabi farm. And today's episode is about uh, plant starts and potting up your plant starts. We've done other videos on plant starts, so I encourage you to look at that information as well. But we, we get, we're continuing to get questions, so I'm just gonna continue to share information with you guys. So <clears throat> plant starts, you order plant starts from us, um, this is what you're going to get. Uh, they vary in size and that is completely normal. And the viability of the plants, the health of the plant starts has nothing to do with the size. Okay. So you small ones, slightly larger ones, lots of roots, only a few roots. They actually all do really, really well. So I wanted to make sure you guys knew that. Um, so you get your plant starts, your plant starts are going to arrive in a, in a bag, just like this. They're, they're called bare root. Um, we put them in a bag with some soil because we found that that um, is a way that the plants do really well. And we trim off the leaves because the leaves are, the leaf stalks are rather um, delicate and they tend to break in, in transit. And the plants do not rely on the leaf stalks in order to grow, okay? So in order to start developing, they don't need the leaf stalks. So when you get your plant, um, and you plant it, after a while, these cut leaf stalks are gonna die off and that is completely normal. So they're gonna, I left one on here, I don't know if you can see it a little bit. Um, they're gonna die off and they're gonna get really gross and slimy and that is completely normal because the plant is going to be developing <clears throat> new leaves and you can see this plant start has some tiny new leaves and it develops the new leaves from the very center of the plant. Okay, so this is all normal for a plant start. So what is important for wasabi plants for you to grow them at home? You need to know that they're a shade plant, they prefer cool conditions, and they like a very well-drained soil medium. So the soil we ship with your plants is in this bag here and you can use that soil you'll probably need to add a little bit to it and this soil is a mix of um, coconut fiber and perlite okay so and you can see it has quite a lot of perlite in it and that is because it helps with drainage now you don't have to use perlite um, do not use full coconut fiber because that holds on to too much water. Um, you can use sand, you can use gravel, you can use um, volcanic rock, anything that's going to increase regular gravel. If you have a gravel driveway, you can use the gravel from your driveway. Anything that's going to increase the drainage. So take your pot, take your plant start, and you want to just put it in the pot enough to have it stand upright. So you don't need to dig a hole. You don't need to necessarily um, push down on the soil really hard. You basically want to just keep your, um, your new plant start upright and don't overwater them. Do not overwater them. If you go online and you see videos of wasabi farms in Japan and wasabi's native habitat, which is a stream bed, People think it's an aquatic plant. It needs a lot of water. It does not need a lot of water. What it likes is a lot of oxygen, okay? So let at least the surface of the soil dry out in between watering or your plants will rot. They'll get pathogens and they'll rot. So really simple, really well-drained soil. Don't overwater it. Keep it out of direct sun. All right, enjoy your wasabi plants. 